Welcome back to the Metronome Madness League, everyone. We have the 60 Sleepers going up against Vargi's Growlithe Pack. The Sleepers are one and three so far on the season, so they desperately need this win. They do not want to get that fourth loss, as that will pretty much spell them not in the playoffs. Vargi's are Growlithe Pack, excuse me, are two and two so far, so they can afford a loss, but they really don't want to go down that road. So we'll see what happens. There goes an extreme speed coming from the Bulbasaur. Good job there, doing a decent amount of damage. Sandow unable to connect with the hit. Sandow's going to try again here. And it goes for a Super Fang. Oh, it's avoided. I was going to say Super Fang is a good move, especially to use in these battles as it does half damage. And that is great. It's usually great to use. Unfortunately, it doesn't connect. Both sort of misses with an electric move, of course, because it cannot hit that ground typing. And then we see the Vice Grip come out from the sand down not very effective or is vice grips not a no uh not a water type move. i always think water type sorry it does a decent amount of damage but it is neutral there we go another not very effective move against the sand down it's getting chipped away at at this bulbasaur but bulbasaur can't really seem to do any damage as sand actually changes his type it's gonna make itself a crest type here uh, I don't know if that was a good idea. It was doing pretty good with his ground dark typing. So now it's a grass type. Here comes the slam from the Bulbasaur. Doing some more damage. Sandow now down below half itself. Yeah, I don't know if the slam would have done the same amount of damage regardless. But I'm still not sure that typing change was good for them. Here comes the smackdown on the Bulbasaur. And it's still above half health there. Really close, but not in the yellow yet. There goes a present that could always heal. It's a risky move to use. The present does heal. Sandow gets some health back. Not with the Growlithe Pack we wanted to see. They were hoping for a high roll damage, yet they heal the Sandow here. And they've got to be kicking themselves right there. They took a risk and it did not pan out as the Sandow goes for a Sleep Powder. That won't affect the Grass type Pokemon. You can't use power Powder moves. And Bulbasaur is going to go with a Night Daze. Um, Sandow still have the dark typing? No, it's just, it's just grass type. So Night Days actually does a decent amount of damage. Sandow back in the yellow. Here comes the Venom Shock. That's the neutral hit on the Bulbasaur. Does a good amount of damage. Back and forth, these two Pokemon are going. Woof, they are fighting here tonight. They're both in the yellow. There goes the Zing Zap. It can hit this time because Sandow's not a ground type anymore. It's still resisted at least. Sandow is just above the danger zone right there. And there goes the metronome. Sandow going with the explosion. It was going to blow up. I'm not sure that was a good use of explosion. We've seen it happen from time to time where it was used in a good situation. But the sleepers just decided they were done with the preliminary parts of this battle. Getting rid of the two basic Pokemon. And they're moving on. They're like, let's move on to the second tier of our teams and see what happens. So there goes the Toracat. Toracat's gonna take on the rest of the Growlithe Pack. Growlithe Pack sends up out Raboot. And there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Raboot's gonna go first. And it goes with the Sweet Scent. Gonna make sure it can land some hits in the future. And here comes the Tora Cat. It's gonna go with a Fire Blast. That's a stab move. Resist it though from the Raboot. And oh my goodness, does a good amount of damage regardless. Wow, the Tora Cat came out swinging. Here comes the Raboot now. It's gonna go with a Simple Beam. Interesting. Simple Beam gonna get rid of Torcat's ability, so it no longer has Intimidate. Uh, I guess that doesn't affect the Sleepers that much, as Intimidate already took effect. Unless they switched out, they wouldn't be able to use it again. Try to use Dynamic Punch, that's gonna miss Raboot. It's another chance to do some damage. And there goes the Raboot with the Darkest Lariat. Ironic as that is Torcat's Evolution's uh, signature move. It takes that with these, though, as it goes for a Screech. 
I'm gonna lower those defenses. We'll see if they plan on going for a physical move next. What's gonna happen? Here we go. There goes the rat boot with a pedal blizzard. Gonna be resisted. Pedal blizzard not doing too much damage. Not very effective, of course. And Tora Cat gets to retaliate. It goes for a scale shot. That's gonna hit once. It hits twice. It hits three times. Will it? Oh, it hits four times and takes out the rat boot. The scale shot pans out. And the sleepers have the upper hand here. Now the Tora Cat is going to be faster, may be able to move first. However, it's got the downside of losing that defense. So if the Growlithe Pack can survive and land a hit, that Tora Cat might just be done as they send out their Swampert. Tora Cat will be faster now, thanks to the speed boost that it received. And it's going to go for a Frenzy Plant. That's four times effective against the Water Ground type. Is that gonna one-shot it? It one-shots the Swampert. The Sleepers come away with the win. Oh my gosh, what a good move by the Torcat, and that shook things up here tonight. As you can see, that, oh my goodness, that pushes the Growler Pack all the way down near the end of their division. Strawberry Skitties and Framing Freak Shows are gonna lose some spots as well. That moves up. Not only the 60 sleepers, but the incineroars and the shadow squad get bumped up as well due to that battle. Sleepers right outside of the playoff zone. The first four teams on each division get to go to the playoffs, and they are number five right now with one win. We'll have to see what the rest of the division does and see if the sleepers can keep this momentum going. But what an excellent battle. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more Metronome Madness League. And special thanks to my patrons. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you want to become a patron, you can hit that link in the description below and uh, support the channel as well. We have a Discord. If you want to join the Discord, we would love to have you in our community. So go ahead and follow the Discord link as well. And with that being said, again, thank you so much for watching. You got to go fast, and I will see you next time.